How's that saying go? Putty and paint make me the welder I ain't. I thought the chain was going to be the hard part, and it was, but the harder part ah, is going to be this guy, this old rusted turd of an exhaust that I should just put back on and patch, but no, I'm going to make it difficult for myself. This here. The 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide exhaust pipe. So, those guys come with what are they? The 117 cubic inch, which is like 1800 and change uh, exhaust. So, this is a 920, 1800 divided by twos, give or take nine. So, I think this is going to be fine as a single exhaust pipe. So, what I'm going to do is figure out how to go to two into one on this guy, hopefully with the existing parts. And uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get a better look at how this may or may not work. Um, uh, the exhaust on these guys is, uh, it's two into two with a crossover pipe um, that exists somewhere back here, right? So you can see, so this, this is the front, comes up below the, uh, the body of the engine here. Uh, out of the back, there's this little downturn piece that crosses over and that's where that plugs in here. That's a slip foot joint. And then it curls out to the bottom and that's where the rear comes into play. I'm going to have to mock this front guy up uh, see where all the mounting holes are uh, and then get the Harley Davidson muffler where I want it and then I'm gonna have to figure out how to cut this and re-weld it to make it essentially look how I want and then afterwards um, I'm pretty sure I can just keep this front pipe just clean it up I have this little angle right here so I might be able to like just cut this outer fitting out and like put that right there right and that kind of looks a little better. I don't know. This is all up in the air. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is eight and a half inches longer than the stock exhaust. And I would like it to stop at the same point and maintain the same angle. So what I'm going to try to do is literally just cut eight and a half inches out of the center of this guy. So the original plan, uh, after I cut the eight inches out of this guy, was to basically, seeing as how I got this disconnected and I was gonna keep this as a slip fit, right? I figure I can just slip this guy in there and weld it up uh, on that taper, right? The taper will look a little weird, but eh, it'll work, right? So. Here's the problem, comes up through straight all the way. And then there's this little tiny hole on the inside of here that I guess joins up with that other exhaust pipe. What the heck? Oh, so it's almost seeming like I need to 
cut at this weld, remove that inner pipe, cut this guy out, and then put that curved piece in. Now that I got that extracted and I got the right angle out, this is this is what I'm going for, right? So, uh, right, this guy's meeting up with you about there. Straight shot out of this extension is going to meet up perfectly with that. So I'm going to have to notch this guy out because this is going to meet up with the rear side exhaust. And this is going to slip over just like that. It's going to essentially weld into where the other guy was coming in, right, on, on the back side. Except I'm going to cut this here and probably flip it. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I finally figured out how to use my welder. Um, the last couple don't look as terrible as the first, but uh, I can't get the right angle because the, uh, yeah, the actual stand is interfering with that. see this is what used to be a white shirt uh, when I put it up and put oil in it for the first run I didn't fully tighten the uh, I think the neutral switch yeah so it all just slowly drip leaked through there and absorbed into this shirt here um, and of course I only realized that after I've been throwing sparks at it for a couple of months so fire hazard gone So you get some light in there. Yeah, I managed to clean out the inside of this guy. So now we have a good opening for you. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to trim this down a couple inches because it only goes in about an inch. There's a good path directly through. You can see that second pipe coming in right in the center. That nice little 90 smooth band, yeah. Right off, it doesn't fit. I have this little pipe that I welded a 
female slip fit adapter onto. And then the original straight inlet pipe is now slip fit into there. So I need to make a little pie cut to fill that. And then on the uh, muffler side, that's gonna fit right there. And I'm just gonna need to bang it down and just weld up that gap. All right, exhaust is, well, the fabrication is complete. I wouldn't call it done. Still a lot to do, but there it is. So here's the back, comes down into the joint, which wraps inside here, Boop. and then meets up with the Harley muffler out back. Um, and that taper, you know, it's not too bad. I just got the mount finished up. So yeah, I think this is gonna work pretty good. It's easy to install and take off. You undo this guy, you rotate it out, that pulls out and then that slips out. But the front needs to be loose, that's important. So, ah, my goodness, what a, a lot of work. Gonna try this high heat JB Weld to fill in all these low spots here and basically just jam it into all these areas where I welded because I'm sure there's some pinholes in there. So this will serve two purposes. One, it'll fix my crappy welding. Two, it'll be smooth and it'll just be, you know, more presentable at the end of it. So I'm gonna start with the muffler assembly and then I'll work on the downpipe after that. How's that saying go? Putty and paint make me the welder I ain't. All right, <clears throat> we're ready for paint. I got these guys uh, hopefully secured and off the, the table. I'm gonna go with uh, the grill paint again. This is what I used on the actual inside of the engine right here. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. And it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be a nice contrast. So you have this kind of satin for the middle, you have these gloss um, show pieces here. And then this is gonna be satin as well uh and it's also going to hide some of the crimes here with the uh with the putty uh it's just you know if it's super glossy it's gonna really show off how bad that is um the second reason for this grill paint is this doesn't need to cure after the fact uh this stuff actually does if you read the instructions um you need to put it in an industrial oven for like three heat cycles at different temperatures 
or you have to put it on the vehicle and then run the vehicle for times up to a half an hour and I just don't have access to an oven and the bike isn't ready to do that. So I'm gonna clean these guys up. I'm gonna hang you from there because somehow miraculously this thing is like perfectly balanced. Here we are, look at these guys. Here's our front. Here's our rear downpipe. Love that angle. And then here's the showpiece. There it is. Now we just gotta wait for the exhaust caskets to come in mail and we can fire this up. Here it is, the exhaust is on, the exhaust leaks are fixed, we're ready. Sounds awesome. So happy it came out this well, and it sounds mint. It's not too loud. It's got a nice rumble to it. That's why I picked this thing up as a V-twin. It's, it's gonna sound great no matter what. Anyway, please subscribe. You're not gonna wanna miss the next few episodes. I'm almost done. I'll see you on October 13th. Thanks for watching.